Hi everyone, Trish here, and today I'm coming to you to be totally honest and blunt and open with you that I failed at my no buy. I failed horribly, and I should feel bad, but I don't because I'm so excited about the things that I got. Got a lot of lipsticks. Um, I have a huge Sephora, some MAC lipsticks, my first MAC lipsticks, and then another trip to Sephora. I have another order coming. I ordered the new palettes from LA Girls. They look like nice palettes. I only found two reviews on them so far on YouTube, so I will definitely let you know. I've been doing the um, No Repeat November, and I added a no buy, which I have did not make two weeks with the no buy. I'm in my third week of the No Repeat November, and I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, I am also doing the lipstick challenge that Mel and Prissy started, and it's a lot of fun, but I became so obsessed with lipsticks. That is the one thing that I really hadn't flipped it over totally to higher end on, and... I love the things that I've gotten so far. It's like I want to try them all at once. But let's just take a deep breath and get through this. I'm going to be kind of quick. I am going to do swatches. First off, let's start with my little tin. It's a little tin at Sephora. I have them out right now. Four Bite Beauty lip pencils in here. So I will show you the first one that I really like is Winterberry. And this is Winterberry. Beautiful color. This is pomegranate. Beautiful. Sable. These are so pretty. This is rhubarb. Now it is a kind of a light dusty mauve. And I did pick up Amborghini, I think. Look at that beautifulness. Oh. And this wears so nicely. I have used this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did get nine lipsticks from the drugstore. I'm going to go ahead and get those out of the way super quick. Um, you guys know I love the Kate by Rimmel, the matte collection, which is the red. I got a 111. Look at that red. And these are such nice lipsticks. I mean, if you're wanting a nice lipstick from the drugstore, the um, Rimmel, the Kate line, excellent. Can't recommend it enough. Or Maybelline. I am a Maybelline lip fanatic. This is 107. I think this is my favorite one. This will be my go-to probably. More than the 111. I think the 111 is a little... Well, I don't know because I want to step out of my box a little bit. I might try it. I usually go for the more berry wine reds than the orangey reds, corally reds. But this 107, is that right? Yes, the 107 is beautiful. I was at Target the other night with my daughter and granddaughter, and I was getting my daughter some lipsticks. Um, she's always been a lip gloss junkie, and she's to that age where she's kind of wanting to dabble a little bit into the lipsticks. And I got her some of the Kate ones. Of course, she took those with her. But I also, when I was showing her some different things, I wanted to see if she liked the soft any of the soft matte colors that Maybelline had just launched. I saw these, and I don't know if it's in their regular Reds line, but they were a special display. I was pretty sure it said new on the little display. So I picked four up because I fell in love with them. These, I think there was six, but these are the ones that I really liked. This is 700, and it is Crimson Rush Christmas Party when I see this red. Five, which is Burgundy Beauty. I did already use this. I had to pull it out of my no repeat. This is a, can you just tell what I'm usually used to? Burgundy Beauty, 705. 625 is Are You Ready? Oh, upside down, Trish. Beautiful red. Tis the reason for reds, right? 
And the last one was 645 Red Revival. And then I picked up e.l.f. matte lip colors, but I got the natural, see I have some all over myself, and it is a really nice neutral color, really nice. And these wear really nice. I was really surprised for three bucks. And this is really red, and I'll put it right here. Okay. Let's flip back. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I deconditioned it last night and it's crazy today. Let's go back over to Sephora now. I wanted to kind of dabble in each brand because like I said, I've really not played around that much with higher end. I showed you what I got in the Bite Beauty and I also wanted to get a Kat Von D. I had been looking at the Lovecraft for a long time and I was actually went to get their little Christmas um I forget how many colors she had out in her Christmas one this feels a little drying um it's a little skippy when I go to put it on which I wear mats all the time and this is really surprisingly that it feels that way um it's a beautiful color and I definitely will give it a try, but I will have to really amp up on the um, hydrating my lips. So, but I'm, I'm excited to try that one. And I also got an Urban Decay, and this is in Rapture. And I had just heard so much good about this. Like that. Then I went over to NARS, and... My Sephora had none of the Amplified out, but they had two out on the very top shelf, um, I guess maybe for Christmas, I don't know. I got Anita. I fell in love with this collar. I just think it's beautiful. Smashbox, and it is in Fig, and I guess I should show you the packaging. I've worn this, and I really, really, really liked it beautiful and that's fig i did also get they had you know our little candy store there as we check out that little maze they had from smith's a rosebud salve and a minted rose lip balm i got both of those because i'm so into mattes this year i'm into mattes all the time but more so this year and my lips need some extra loving okay i'm going to do my MAC lipsticks next because the other Sephora stuff has no lippies. Yeah, I got some MAC lipsticks. I am wearing one today. It is called Captive and I love this. This is a satin and it is beautiful. I don't know why I gave you a swatch because that's what I'm wearing. Sin. Isn't that beautiful? little swatchy so oh my gosh oh that was a matte that was a matte sin is a matte this is a cream sheen and it is cream in your coffee i got a variety beautiful and right there Cream in your coffee. Fast Play Amplified Cream Twig. <laughs> These all look so similar. Beautiful. Velvet Teddy Fashion Revival. Fashion Revival. Last one is Taupe Matte. Right. Sorry, it seems like this is taking forever. I will edit it down as much as I can. These things that I got from Sephora are actually going to go pretty quick. I have been really, really, really wanting to try the Ultimate Coverage complexion cream and I got mine she tested me and I was in buttercup 
has a nice little pump and it is what I have on today and I like it it has a very nice coverage it's worn very nicely and I'm excited to try it further a Urban Decay all-nighter makeup setting spray I have the what do I have I have the D Slick, which I really don't feel like I need right now because my skin isn't oily. But I do want something that lasts, so Urban Decay All Nighter. And I also picked up the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray because it claimed to do so many wonderful things. So I thought I would give it a try. Now this is about $9 more. Then your setting spray, same size, very similar packaging. So I am looking forward to trying that. And I will let you know if I notice the difference. The Becca Eye Priming Perfector. It's kind of a package. Have not used this yet. Looks kind of like a concealer. Kind of a yellowy base goes on nicely so we will see how that works also got a NARS Pro Frame smudge proof eyeshadow base and this is what it looks like this is white well kind of a translucent white it's a good bit stickier it feels stickier than the Becca one. But a Anastasia Brow Whiz because I am going to do a serious competition between this and the Sephora. I'm going to do one on one eyebrow and the other on the other and see if there really is a difference in the Brow Whiz and the Sephora. One of you challenged me to do this so I'm going to do that for fun. The Urban Decay Eyeliner Black Magic I think is what they call this series and it has double-ended pencils. This is their 24-7 pencil. It is the only one that is staying in my tight line right now. I had a couple from palettes that I had purchased and I was really pleased. And I was just going to go buy one pencil. It's just in the black. But then I saw this and I think this was 30 This was $39 and I think their regular pencils are 20 around $20 mark. So I thought I could play with some different colors and see which other ones I really liked. What else I got? I got a Urban Decay Grindhouse Pencil Sharpener. And I have been wanting this for so long. And this, I think this is my first benefit product. Isn't that gorgeous? There we go. Smashbox on the Rocks palette. I think they have the bigger one at Sephora or at um, Ulta. But they just had this little guy at Sephora. It's a hard case. The collars I just fell in love with. It has a cute little stone. I mean, all that's cute. But when I swatch these, I was really, like, for real, blown away. Look at those. Definitely going to be doing a look with that. Okay, I know that's a lot of stuff. You guys are probably on lipstick overload. So I'm sorry. This is I'm going to really edit it down as much as I can. Maybe through the swatches I can save some time. I have a haul from LA Girl coming. I ordered, I think there's three palettes they had. Maybe four. They were on sale, I think, for $7, and I only found two reviews on it, like I said, but they were really good. So I got those and some lip liners, I think, is what I got from LA Girl. Um, and then I have a shoe order coming in, and then I have just like four different tops, and then I'll show you the shoes that I got, kind of a clothing haul. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you again for giving me a part of your day. Thanks again for watching. Take care. God bless.